hello viewers this is elimu tv your channel your station where you get to watch learn and experience i'm your tutor mr mongi <coughs> taking you through physics form three so let's get to look at the concept of linear motion what is linear motion and what does it entail so by the end of this lesson you'll be able to achieve the following recent goals number one we'll be able to state or to explain what is linear motion and you'll also now be able to understand the concept of uh, speed distance velocity and acceleration so what is linear motion it is the motion of a body along a straight line the study of motion is divided uh, as we had mentioned previously into kinematics where the force causing the motion is disregarded and dynamics with uh, which deals with motion of objects forcing uh, force acting on them is also considered so the terms which we we are going to look at uh, which we need to understand when it comes to linear motion include average velocity uh, distance which is given by distance covered by unit time what about displacement it is defined as the distance moved by a body in a specified direction it is a vector quantity meaning it has both size magnitude that is and direction so the standard unit the SI unit which we use to express uh, displacement is in meters so uh, the abbreviation for displacement which is s is given by average velocity multiplied by time taken so when you consider the path illustrated here uh, the distance covered by a body along this path and finally the total uh, displacement of the body from this point to this point is what we are referring to us as displacement this is the path taken as you can see well uh, this is the displacement of the body so at the same point we need to understand the concept of speed when it comes to linear motion which is defined as distance covered per unit time it is a scalar quantity the SI unit is meter per second average speed is given by total distance covered by to divided by total time taken for example a car covers a distance of 50 meters in 40 that is in 4 seconds it rests for 10 seconds and covers the remaining 50 meters in 6 seconds calculate its average speed remember we first need to get total distance which is given by 50 meters uh, plus 50 meters which gives us a total of 100 so total time taken is therefore 4 uh, plus 10 plus 6 which gives us total of uh, 20 uh, seconds so this gives us a speed of 100 divided by 20 which is 5 meters per second velocity again it is the change in displacement per unit time it is a vector quantity the SI unit is meter per second velocity is given by change in displacement per unit time so when the velocity is non-uniform then we talk of total displacement which is given by average velocity multiplied by total time taken now how do we get to use this in a question so the displacement of a particle after 100 seconds is 5000 meters due north calculate its velocity now remember velocity uh, is total displacement which is 500 meters due north divided by total time taken which gives us 5000 divided by 100 equivalent to uh, 50 meters per second do you know so the acceleration of this body uh, can also be determined and the acceleration formula is a change in velocity all of a change in time the change of the velocity per unit time which is a vector quantity and the SI unit is meters per second square so uh, how do we get to find this what we need to do is that uh, when the velocity of a body increases with time it is said to undergo a deceleration that is when it decreases sorry with time it is said to be uh, to be decelerating or undergoing retardation so retro quiz 
the velocity of a body increases from 20 meters per second to 40 meters per second in 10 seconds. Calculate the acceleration of the body. So that gives us a summary of the key terms that we need to understand when it comes to linear motion. So you can refer this in Secondary Physics Students Book 3 or you can send us a text through the numbers on your screen or visit our uh, YouTube channel at Erimu TV uh, as well as Facebook page at Erimu TV uh, or give us a tweet as at Erimu TV underscore KE. So once again, I'm your tutor and stay tuned for more lessons to come. Thank you.